Hi there, uh, this is Dr. Jake Felice again with the Medical Marijuana Minute and today I want to talk about a uh, shaman who was found uh, uh, in Central Asia, had been buried approximately 2700 years ago and in his possession uh, at the time of his burial was a harp and a bow and arrow and a very large uh, satchel of cannabis. And what's very interesting about the cannabis uh, that uh, at this point in time 2700 years ago uh, was its remarkable similarity to skunk type cannabis strains today. Uh, for example, the uh, satchel contained only flowers of female plants and what this shows us is that there had been actual cultivation of the plant uh, for purposes of use either medicinal or for divination. Uh, and the other thing that is very interesting are the genetic makeup of the plant, very high in THC concentration. Uh, and fairly low in the CBD concentration. So uh, again, uh, I'd be curious as to your thoughts. I have a very strong opinion why high THC and low CBD. Uh, so feel free to comment below or shoot me an email. Uh, cannabis has been in use for thousands and thousands of years as a medicine. And in 1942, it was only removed from the U.S. Car uh, pharmacopoeia uh, and had been a widely accepted medicine up until that point. Uh, in fact, in 1942, when it was removed uh, from the U.S. Pharmacopeia, it was at the uh, strong, strong uh, opposition of the American Medical Association. They said there's really no evidence uh, of harm that this plant is causing, uh, and it's such a good medicine. So I personally look forward to uh, the resurrection of cannabis and its re-entry into the U.S. Pharmacopeia. And at that time, I will look forward to teaching patients uh, important features of medical cannabis is its extremely low toxicity. Uh, this is Dr. Jake Felice. Thank you for watching the Medical Marijuana Minute.